Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been such a long time. So this is the look that I'm going to be filming for you guys today. I hope you will get to enjoy it as much as I enjoyed filming this look. It's been such a long time that I've been in front of a camera. Actually, I take that back because like um, the past couple of weeks, I've been on a movie set as a makeup artist for obviously the, the series that we're working on and I made my debut. Uh, I made my acting debut on screen. I've done some radio work and all of that fun stuff, but it got real this time around and I was opportuned to act. Um, it was a lot of fun. It was so much fun. Oh my goodness. But I'm back. Um, on to the next. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thanks for clicking on this video. And of course, if you're not subscribed yet, do not forget to just hit the subscribe button. Hit it. And of course, stay tuned to finish watching the video and thumbs up if you liked it. Leave your comments, questions, everything down below. I will leave all the products that I use in the video in the description box down below. So you should definitely check that out. And so if you want to know how I achieve this look right here, mm -hmm. yeah, then keep watching. Thank you guys. Okay. Now we're gonna start with the face. And I'm using the Mary Kay foundation. This, I think this is the medium coverage one. Guys, I can't remember all the products that I use in this video, but I will be sure to list them down below in the description bar. So please check those out. And I'm using just the random cosmetic wedge um, type of sponge. I must say, this is like my first time, like no joke, of using this type of applicator to put on my foundation. It was time consuming. I'm not gonna lie but i actually liked the overall effect i mean with a beauty blender or any other cosmetic like sponge that looks like a beauty blender it's bigger it's faster or even maybe when i use a brush but with this little guy right here it took a while but i liked it, it i i liked the whole process i just wanted to you know chill on this day that i did this makeup so it was like uh oh, i don't mind you know spending time to put my foundation in so on to conceal, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Fawn. And with the flip side of the cosmetic sponge, I'm just using that to apply it to underneath my eyes as usual. Um, I'm going to put some on my forehead, my chin, just basically places that I just want to bring, you know, forward. You guys know the drill. blend 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 some more and if you see me looking up i was binge watching scandal i love that show so yeah and then to set all of that goodness i'm gonna use my sasha buttercup powder i love this powder ah i feel so bad for my banana powder even my topaz powder because i, I never really used the banana powder it was too light for me but ever since i got this one child Mm -hmm. so just really pushing that product in to really set the concealer make sure that nothing creases nothing moves throughout the day i absolutely love this powder love 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 it and then with the real techniques um brush i'm just i think this is called the face brush or something like that i will list all the products in the description bar below <laughs> so i'm just dusting up the excess and i'm using my Tara palette my six in one powder palette and I'm going in with that shade right there that's like my normal you know shade for all over my face and I'm just gonna put a light coat of that all over my face and get into that hairline get into that hairline I don't know. I think I'm kind of like liking turbans lately. Um, and scarves. I've been wearing lots of those lately. I think I'm going to get more. Definitely going to get more. And I'm going in with that lighter shade. And I'm just going to dust that over 
the place where my sasha buttercup ends and where my normal powder ends just so there's a smooth transition so there's just no you know it's not like a stark difference so yeah that really helps in blending out your face also and making it look more natural and then going in with a darker shade and my real techniques contour brush i'm just gonna use that to you know sculpt up my cheekbones a little bit i absolutely love this brush i i I wish it didn't like come in a set because I don't want to have to you know bother myself buying the whole set again but I wish they would just come out with the single ones and then using the um, La Femme blush in grape and a random <laughs> brush I'm just gonna put some blush on my cheeks and then using the same cosmetic wedge and the Sasha buttercup I'm gonna carve out that contour just so it's you know it's sharp and clean and crisp yep mm -hmm. yes now on to the eyes gotta get into those brows i already did one eye look just so you know for time you know i didn't want to waste too much time and then i'm going in with this jordana um jordana pencil in coco i believe and i'm just filling out my well not filling out my, i'm trying to draw like an outline to the brows and i'm gonna use a gel to fill in the brows i love this pencil and it's very cheap it's like a dollar or something eee, can't beat that so just following the natural shape of my brows and outlining that and then i'm gonna use blood cosmetics um eyebrow gel in zero two and it comes with the little brush that i'm using here also i love 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 this product this is a nigerian brand by gifted's daughter she's so amazing She's got like liquid lipstick to mascara, primer, ugh, the whole works, okay? I, I absolutely love her. I love her so much. And this product is bomb. So just really distributing that product into my brows using a spoolie, making sure that everything looks natural and nice. Now I'm just going to clean up the brows a little bit using a bit of that concealer that I used earlier, which is Illegal Pro Conceal in Fawn. I usually don't like to go too light on my brow highlights. I just, it's not a look that I really care for, to be honest. Even on my clients, I rarely do that. It's only upon request, if that's your thing. You like that overly highlighted brow line. Oh well, I'll do it. So now going in with my Maybelline Eye Tattoo in Moussey Green. This is like a cream eyeshadow. I'm using this as a base for my eyeshadows. Just something that they're going to stick to. I absolutely love this color you can definitely wear it on its own and I find that it blends out better with your fingers now I'm going into this Avon palette that I got like years ago it was a gift from someone I don't even I think the name even rubbed off but I'll check then I'm just using that green shade on top of my lid and I'm using the lighter yellow gold shade in the inner corner just to bring some light into that because I really don't want this look to be overtly dark you know it's kind of smoky but i don't want it to be too too dark and i'm using the makeup academy eyeshadow brush for this i love this look already the other eye was just giving me all types of life and then going in with my sleek bad girl palette i'm using that dark green shade it has a bit of shimmer in it and a morphe brush and i'm just putting that on the outer v and bringing it onto my crease a little bit this like this like, like <laughs> these sleek eyeshadows are so pigmented and definitely the bad girl palette is one of my faves definitely and now going in with the clean blending brush just you know blend out the edges make sure that everything is smooth no harsh lines whatsoever and this is the elf one this is the elf blending brush and then i'm gonna go in with my mac fluid line the black track one the black one and just a random pencil brush not a pencil brush um <laughs> a liner brush and i'm just gonna draw a wing yep get it jackie get it <laughs> and of course going in my absolutely favorite pencil the la girl glide um pencil in black and then I top that off with the Zaron one, a green Zaron pencil. Zaron makes like the 
the best pencils probably in nigeria you know they're, they're up there with even like a couple of international brands i tell you and the eye is almost done i'm gonna go ahead right now and fix some lashes i put some lashes on top and on the bottom these are nigerian made lashes obviously well not nigerian made they're like nigerian brands so eyes done onto the rest of the face so now it's time to dust off that powder that i used to cover up my contour and finish up the look i love this look i i had so much fun creating this look guys and now i'm gonna use some highlighter on top of my cheeks i'm using the ruby kisses highlighter in all over bronze i think golden bronze or something like that yep and i was trying to <laughs> don't you guys just hate when you're trying to open like products and they don't open this is the milani eyeshadow in peaches and cream and i'm just gonna really you know <clears throat> blind everybody with this highlight so i'm putting this just on the highest point of my cheek these eyeshadows, this um, runway eyes, they're so pigmented. They're very glittery, obviously, but they're so pigmented. I love them so much. My favorite, definitely, is the one in Lily White. But this Peaches and Cream one is quite nice. It's quite nice. And then I just put some of it on my brow bone also. Just to, you know, yeah. Just to finish off that eye look. And then onto the lips. I'm using this MUA um, lip pencil it's like a wine type of lip pencil that has a bit of you know pink in it yeah so i'm just going to use this to line my lips first just following the natural shape of my lips nothing too crazy i'm not trying to overdraw or anything i'm using the red lipstick so i just want it to be as you know clean and you know just just, just keep it simple and nice These pencils are so creamy and they're like a pound. Oops! <laughs> I'm using the MUA lipstick, the Lip Balm. Um, I think this one is in the shade Doing Good or Let Me Know or something like that. I'm so sorry, guys. Like, ah, oh, my game is just way off today. It's a red lipstick. It, I love this lipstick. It's matte. It has the lipstick on one side and then it has like the glitter um, lip gloss on the other side. Like a top coat for the lipstick on the other side. Definitely love, love it. They're super creamy, super long lasting. They're matte, but they're not drying. I think they're discontinued. I got this a while back. I got all the colors. I absolutely, absolutely love it. I love the look as is, but I'm just going to top it off for that extra glam with the other part of the lipstick. Oh, look at that. That looks good. I lo And it smells like heaven. It smells so good. And that, my friends, is the finished look. I love, love, love this look. So if you guys like the look, please do give me a thumbs up and follow me on social media. I'll leave all my links down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Till I see you next time. Mwah. Bye.